Hello, hello. Welcome to our day two of our filmed workouts. So yesterday I gave the wrong intro if you <laughs> didn't figure out or if you were just left feeling confused. Um, today we are using dumbbells and mini bands. Yesterday was straight mini bands, obviously. Um, so hopefully you're feeling it in your bum and my shoulders are a little <laughs> feeling it from all those arm, um, arm, shoulder, and tricep moves that we did with the mini band. We are going to use this today just to kind of amp up our little cardio and just do um, add a little resistance to our legs because this is a total body workout. Um, but we'll be using dumbbells, super setting it with a mini band move. So that's how today's going to go. We're going to start. It's going to be kind of like a drop set, which is <laughs> exactly what I said yesterday. We're going to start with heavier weights. And then the second round through or time through, we're gonna go to a medium set of weights. And the last time through, we're gonna do like a little burnout. So a quicker, lighter weight, quicker time and lighter weight. So just have those options available. You should only need one mini band. And of course, if you don't have bands, um, you don't necessarily need to use them. We are just putting them around our ankles and I think they pretty much stay there for the duration. So if you're ready, Go ahead and put your mini band around both ankles. And we're gonna start with a heavy set of dumbbells for bicep curls, okay? So grab your heavy set of dumbbells for bicep curls. Oh, let me pull this up. There we go. Okay, everything's gonna be 45 seconds, at least for this first round. So grabbing your heavy set of dumbbells, we're just using the mini bands um, in the next moves, but just having it ready around our ankles. We're not really doing anything with it just yet. Four, three, two, and here we go. So heavy dumbbell curls, these are 20s. So I encourage you to go super heavy. This is strength portion. So no need to rush, slow and controlled. We're going for 45 seconds. Just working those muscles. Woo! Feeling the burn already. 20 seconds. Nice job, last 15. Then we can set our weights down. Give our arms a rest. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Now, coming with the mini band, we are just doing squat, center, squat left, squat center, squat right. Just getting our heart rate up a little bit. Two, and go. Total body. Incorporating the legs with the bands. A little bit of cardio too. And then of course we're gonna pump our arms <laughs> with the dumbbells. Like there's hair on me. <laughs> 20 seconds, stay low, stay low, stay low. <sighs> Feel the burn, especially if you're feeling it from yesterday, which I am. <laughs> 10 seconds, muscles are talking to me. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good, just keep the band where it is. Now you're gonna need a heavy set of weights for overhead press. So remember, we're going from our heaviest weight, second time through, we'll go medium. So really try to push yourself on these weights. I'm gonna go 15s, three, two, and go. So military press, straight up, overhead, hands facing away from you. <sighs> Trying not to lean back. Try to keep that pelvis tucked under. There's the baby. <laughs> Wanting to pop out. But mommy is worried about her alignment. So we don't want to use that lower back. It's very, um, it's nice to demo now because you can really see it <laughs> with the bump and the arch in the back. Less than 10. 
you're going heavy enough, you should be getting that heart rate up too. Three, two, and last one. Good. Go ahead and set those weights down. Going back to our little cardio band option, keeping the band where it is. We're gonna do scissors. Just forward, backward. Three, two, and go. A little shuffle. Forward, backward, shuffle. Staying on the balls of the toes, balls of the feet. <laughs> Little shuffle, use the arms, just like when we do high knees. Incorporating more muscles. Next move is gonna be a lateral raise. There is hair on me. <laughs> so, going heavy for you. So we obviously don't wanna injure the shoulder. Lateral raises, we usually go a little bit lighter. The shoulders are smaller muscles in that group. Last three, two, and rest. Good job. But I always encourage you to go heavier and go single arm if you need to. So we're doing more to strengthen those shoulders by going heavier rather than lighter. Okay, I'm gonna try tens. Two, and go. All the way out. Nice and slow and controlled in these strength moves. Good work. Connecting back to that breath, deep breathing to bring that heart rate down. And like I said, if it gets too heavy, single it out. Good work. We've got about 12 seconds. Last three, two, last one. Awesome job, good work. Okay, next little cardio. Three, two, and out, out, in, in. So staying low, fast feet run. We did these yesterday. Keep the knees bent, back nice and straight. Halfway through, I'll tell you to switch lead legs just to work the brain in a different way. So we're not always leading with our dominant side. Three, two, and switch that lead. So for me, left, right, left, right now. <laughs> run it out, run it out, run it out, run it out. Feeling it in the booty. Four, three, two, and rest, good job. Next, we are doing tricep kickbacks. So again, this is another one where we typically go pretty light, but I challenge you to go heavier maybe than you're used to, and then singling it out, okay? So I'm gonna go tens, 45 seconds, three, two, and go. This one we're hinged over. Keeping that nice straight back. And whenever we're in this bent over, hinged over position, the whole core should be engaged. So that means our back muscles, which is why we keep the straight back, and our front ab muscles, our front core muscles, which are our abdominal muscles. So we're pulling that belly button up and in, protecting this lower back, protecting the spine always. And this tempo, we're pausing at the top. Squeeze. Get that contraction. Feel the backs of the arms. Flex. Three, two, and rest. Nice job, guys. All right. This is the last little superset in our big set. So we're just going to run it out. I'm going to try to put my band under and over the feet and try to do a little, that's not gonna work. Okay, <laughs> keep it around your ankles. I think it'll slide off too much. Three, two, and go. We're just gonna run in place. So trying to get those knees up. But if you feel like the band's gonna fall off, just do it again. <laughs> We're still getting the heart rate up. My knee, it's harder to get my knees up these days. <laughs> it's a belly. 
breathe. Getting that much useful cardio. Getting that cardio respiratory system pumping. 10 seconds, then we go back to the top. So we're gonna choose a medium weight for bicep curls. Four, three, two, rest. Good job. All right, bicep curls, medium weight. Or maybe you feel good about that heavy weight you chose last time. It wasn't as heavy as you thought. Three, two, and go. Finding that edge. So we don't want it to be too much that we can't finish the set, but certainly towards the last couple reps, you should be struggling. Especially as we go on in the workouts, we're fatiguing the muscles. So by the final round, our burnout round, it'll feel like we can't really do anymore, hopefully, with that light weight. Less than 10, then we go to our little squat pattern. Four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Remember, we're stepping out wide, together, wide, two, and go. Narrow, wide, narrow, stay low. Next move is our shoulder press. We're choosing a medium weight, whatever that is for you. And if you don't have a, a ton of options, you can always double up weights. If you've got a five and a three or a five and a two or a seven and a two, et cetera, et cetera, you can, it's awkward to grip, but it does, that actually helps your grip, helps strengthen your grip when you do double up. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job, okay. Shoulder press, here we go. Five, two, and go. Straight up, military press. So right from the shoulders, hands are facing away. Sinking the breath with the movement. We exhale as we press. Building that muscle. Muscle weighs more than fat and it also burns more calories at rest. Especially as we get older as women, we have usually have bone density issues, resistance training counteracts that. So it's super important to train with weight. Three, two, and rest to build strong muscles and strong bones. Don't forget about those bones. It's helping our bone density also by jumping around, doing this little cardio bear first. Three, two, and scissors. So just forward, backward. We're using those arms, staying on the balls of our feet. Run it up. How we doing? Feeling good? Should be Tuesday for you. If you're doing this in sequence, this is the second day of our third week if you're doing my whole program. So the first two weeks, obviously, were your guide with photos. Hopefully you rocked it. <laughs> now you've got me on the video. Woo! 10 seconds. Then we go to that lateral raise. Five, four, three, two, rest. Good job. Lateral raise, remember our form. Slight bend in the elbows, nice long arms, coming up just below shoulder height, never higher than shoulder height. We don't want to stress those rotator cuff muscles. They can be sensitive. Three, two, and go. How wide. And then we've got our out, out, in, in runs. 
Go to work. Lift and pause. Woo! Twenty seconds. Remember, you always have the option to go single arm. I'd rather you do that than have it feel super, super light. Last ten. Building those shoulder muscles. Getting ready for tank top season. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Out, out, in, in runs against the band. Three, two, and go. Stay low. Remember, halfway through, I'll tell you to switch your lead leg. Knees are bent, back is straight. Abs are pulling in. Don't forget about that core. Just drink my juice. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, and switching the lead leg. I went opposite this time. I did left foot first. It's amazing how fast you can get your heart rate up. Maybe it's just me because I'm pregnant. Woo! Five, two, and rest. Good job. Last move is our kickbacks. Okay, medium weight option for our kickbacks. Three, two, and go. Squeeze, pausing at the top for that contraction. Good work. Always the option to go single arm if you need to. Next move, our little cardio move is just runs in place with the band. Good work. Good work. Less than 10. Squeeze. You want to feel those triceps. Three, two, rest. Awesome job. Runs in place. Four, three, two, go. Run it out. Um, so our next round will be our speed round. So we're just going to go 30 seconds each move and a lighter weight. And we're burning it out. So you can go as quickly as you want. We can choose a medium weight and really try to push it. It's only 30 seconds. So just kind of think about what weights you might need. First move is overhead press. Fifteen. Ten seconds. Run it out, run it out, run it out, run it out. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Okay, burnout round. Shoulder press. No, biceps, sorry, bicep curls. Bicep curls. Three, two, and go. 30 seconds. You can go a little bit quicker. So you should be light enough. Use the breath. Use the core. So try not to swing. Try not to arch through that lower back. Awesome job. 10 seconds. Two, and rest, good job. All right. Next, we do, oh my goodness, squats. Three, two, and go, squat. Together, 30 seconds. We've got one more set after this, similar, formula, if you will. 10 seconds. Then we go to shoulder press. Burnout. Five, four, three, two, rest. Good. Shoulder press. Burnout. Lighter weight, quicker reps. Three, two, and go. Use the breath. Use the core for stability. 
all the way up. Full range of motion, don't cheat yourself. Woo! 10, then we do scissors, yes. Three, two, oh my goodness, that's a burnout. Scissors, two, and go, 30 seconds. Round it up, round it up, round it up. Good work, guys. Check in with that breath, with that core. Don't let that belly be jelly. Ten. Then we go lateral raise. Four, three, two, rest. Good job. Lateral raise, burnout. 30 seconds. Two, and go. Slight bend in the elbows. It's hard to tell in this stupid sweatshirt. Hopefully you can see. We're not locking the arms and we're not going higher than shoulder height. It kind of looks like I am. I think my camera is off. <laughs> not perfectly straight. It's off kilter. <sighs> Holy moly. <sighs> Last five, four, three, two. Rest. Good job. All right, out, out, in, in. Two, and go. Run it up. Switch directions halfway or switch lead legs. In five. And switch. Three, two, rest. Good. Last move, kickbacks. Kickbacks. Tricep, baby. Three, two, go. Tricep burnout. Nice job, guys. Sticking with it. All the way to the end. I love a total body. Sometimes crushing your upper body or crushing your lower body is <laughs> mentally challenging, especially as you start to get fatigued. The cardio in between gives us a break. Three, two, rest. Last move, we run it out. Then we'll get water. Two, and go, 30 seconds. Run it out. We are definitely earning our rest today. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Ten seconds. Four, three, two, rest. Good. Breathe. Keep the band on. We're going to have a similar set um, for our last little circuit. Let that heart rate come down. Our first move is going to start with hammer curls. Okay, same formula. So heavy to lighter. Same formula. We're going to kick the cardio down to 30 seconds. I was going to eliminate it altogether, but it's fun. It's already around our ankles, why not? Okay, so hammer curls. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Curl it up. Man, I wish I didn't choose this way. Woo! This is heavy. Breathe, we're over halfway, 15 seconds. 10. Last five. Two, and rest, good job. Squats, 
actually let's do jacks jack it off three two and go jacks is a little lateral raise like in the shoulders or you can do squats if you prefer <laughs> Fifteen seconds. Then we go to. Let me see. Tricep overhead extension. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Tricep overhead extension. I'm gonna try to kneel so you can see my whole body. Three, two. And go. After this, we've just got one more, and it's a narrow shoulder press. So hands will be in that neutral grip, facing each other. Good work, guys. Anytime we have anything overhead, we know we keep that pelvis tucked under. Abs are tight. Five. Two. And rest. Good job. All right, let's do a little Heisman. Mix up the cardio. One, two, three. Go. Three. One, two, three. Using our arms. May not look like much but you're getting that last knee up. Little lateral shuffle, one, two, three. 10 seconds. Then we go to that narrow shoulder press, starting with your heaviest weight. Three, two, last one. Good job, narrow shoulder press. Let me try 15 years, we'll see how my arms do. Three, two, and go. Up. Core, core, core. If your arms are getting fatigued, listen to your body and maybe drop the weight or like drop the weight, I mean, get a lighter weight or go single arm. One arm at a time. If you do that, try to keep that other arm straight while the other arm works because then you're isometrically working it. <laughs> 10 seconds. Two, last one, good job. All right, last little cardio will be a little shuffle, side to side, so just use the space you have. Three or four shuffles to the right, three or four shuffles to the left, go. Stay low, tap the floor on each end. Nice work. Next, we go back to the top. We started with hammer curl. Medium weight this time. Less than 10. Four, three, two, rest. Good job. Hammer curl. Medium weight. Three, two, here we go. All the way up. Nice job, guys. Finishing strong. Listening to our bodies. Lowering the weight if you need to. We're going single arm if you need to. But we're trying to build that muscle. That's the goal. Keep it in the top of your head. This is only a 30 minute workout. You can do so much in 30 minutes, as you know. <laughs> but we gotta work, we gotta push ourselves. Three, two, and rest, good job. Jacks, jack it out, and go. Or if you have another cardio preference, totally fine. This is your workout. Work it out, girl. Nice job, guys. Next, we go to overhead tricep 
extension. Five. And rest. Good job. Overhead tricep extension with a medium weight. Three, two, here we go. Full range of motion. Let it go all the way back and straighten all the way. Full extension, squeezing those triceps at the top. Scanning your body for any other tightness or any other area that seems to be gripping or stressed when it shouldn't be. So like your shoulders, your traps, your lower back. Squeeze your glutes if you're standing, that will help support your lower back. Five, four, three, two, last one. All right, Heisman. One, two, three, knee up. One, two, three. Good work, guys. We're in the home stretch. We've got narrow shoulder press, then our lateral shuffle, and we've got our speed round, and we're done. Woo woo! Day two. Down. Five. Two. And rest. Good job. Oh my God. Narrow shoulder press. Grab your weights. Deep breaths. Three, two, here we go. So if you're looking to recreate this type of formula, this workout on your own at some point, the first round we did 45 seconds for, the first set we did 45 seconds for everything, even cardio. This second set we're doing 30 seconds for every cardio just because we're running out of time. Um, but the weights were 45 seconds, second set is 40 seconds, last set our speed round everything was 30 seconds. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. And I think that's a nice way to do it. Um, this 45 seconds is a long time, especially if you're doing strength, um, pushing yourself with the weight. That's like, go. That's the ideal time, they say, <laughs> in bodybuilding science. Um, enough to change the muscle. If you're going heavy enough, you should be fatiguing by that 45 seconds. So that's kind of a rule of thumb. 45 seconds is a good time to push yourself. Obviously, if we're doing like a real hit class or real hit intervals, you should be going all out. Three, two, rest for a shorter amount of time. So hit classes are typically timed, like Tabata is 20 seconds, work, 10 seconds rest. Um, and then like a 30 second interval is pretty good. We do, we oftentimes we do do 40 or 45 <laughs> on our Friday workouts. Okay, last set, best set. Hammer curl, burnout, 30 seconds. Three, two, here we go. So really pump it out. This is our burnout, this is only 30 seconds. Feel free to go a little faster, especially if you've got lighter weights. These are 12s, and after the 20s, and then the 15s I just use, they feel light. But as you go on, they get heavy towards the end. That's the, that's the magic. Good work. Three, two, and rest. Good. Jumping jacks. Three, two, go. 30 seconds. Then we've got overhead tricep. Heisman. Narrow shoulder press. Lateral shuffle. And then we're done. How do you feel? 10 seconds. Jack it out. Five, four, three, two, rest. Good job. Overhead tricep. Burn out. Four, three, two, go. 
So even though it's only 30 seconds and I encourage you to go a little faster, keep the form. So form over speed, always. So if you feel tired and you're losing your form, go slower. Scan your body, really listen to your body. No injuries. No injuries here. That should be my summer fit motto. <laughs> no injuries, safety first. Smart working out, functional workout. Three, two, and rest. Good job, Heisman. Woo! One, two, three, three, <laughs> two, and go. Stay on the balls of your feet. work. Fifteen. We've got our last dumbbell move. Overhead press. Ten. Five, four, three, two, rest. Good job. Woo! Narrow grip. Overhead press. Three, Two, go, go, push yourself, last resistance move, use that breath, use the core, go to single arm if you need to, just finish it, don't let it finish you, you're stronger than any move, five, four, three, Two, woo! Okay, fun with those. One more cardio burst, and then we're done. Day two, you're killing it. Three, two, go. 30 seconds, stay low, and tap. Get after it, get after it. You got this. Ten seconds. Three, two, and rest. I'm not even wearing my watch. Oh, how hard my heart is working. Awesome job, guys. As always. So because that was heavy on the upper body, we really went, pushed ourselves with the weight, hopefully. Stretch your upper body. So biceps, chest this way, shoulders and triceps. Stay there in each stretch for a minute or two. Okay, literally just put on your TV or your computer or some nice music and stretch it out, okay? Don't want anyone to get injured. We're super stiff tomorrow. We've got three more days of video workouts together this week. So I want you to be able to feel refreshed by tomorrow and ready to go. All right. I can tell you that tomorrow is, <laughs> I have arms tomorrow. Maybe I'll switch that to abs. Maybe we'll do abs first. <laughs> All right, let me think about that. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.